Hey guys, what's up? Eddie Alho here with KissAnalog.com. All right, so uh, John Audio Tech, he's uh, he, he's mentioned that he would like to do a collaboration with me, and I'm so excited about it. I think it'd be awesome. I haven't had a chance to get a hold of him yet. We've kind of communicated in the past, and um, anyway, so we're going to do some collaboration. We're going to figure it out, okay? For now, what I did is I took his most recent amplifier, he designed his own amplifier and he shared it with all of us over a number of videos. I don't, I want to say it's over 20 videos over a year's time uh, where he shows, you know, places where things didn't work out or things where he could do to improve it. Some things he kept in the circuit, some things he didn't. And so it was a nice learning tool because you got to see, hey, when you have this problem, you can fix it with this or you can fix it this way. And so it's very, cool video series. So now that he's got it done, he's had someone uh, develop some boards for him, but I think he has some input on how to improve on those as well. So maybe we need a power supply for that. Maybe that's how I can collaborate with him. But, uh, and I know he has a power supply for it, but here's what I want to do is I want, I, I built a, a spy schematic, a micro cap. Okay. And I want to show it to you guys. And I want to set up a challenge, okay? I want to say the first two people that can build a schematic that works and send the schematic to me, okay? Send it to me an email. And now also you have to be a subscriber, okay? Make sure you're a subscriber. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a review very soon on Kai Wheats. They're clamp-on meters. I've done one uh, not too long ago on two of their nicer ones. Well, I actually think I have uh, I think I have their whole family right now. I think I have five of them. Maybe it's not all of them. But anyway, I've got like five I think I've got five clamp-on meters from Kai Wheats. So, and I think I can give away at least two of them. Okay? So maybe three. Not sure, but I'll, I, I know I can give I can give at least two away. So, the first two people that send me a schematic that works, you guys sent it to me. I got to verify it works, and the not just that it works, but it's correct. I mean, I'm going to show you my schematic. Okay, let's go look at it now, and then we're going to come back and talk about this a little bit more. Okay, guys, Kiss Analogs Microcap, June 2021 version of the John Audio Techs class AB and I think he calls it the JAP5 amplifier project. Okay guys so this is a circuit here's the input voltage right here here's the definition if I double click on that you can see that right there. Okay uh, this is a plus voltage rail with the decoupling capacitors the bulk and decoupling minus voltage rail See the plus is tied to minus, minus is tied to the voltage rail. And I showed them connected to the transistors because that's physically where you'd want to be placed uh, per John's advice. So if you watch his videos, he'll discuss that, talking about how they should be placed close to these transistors. And so, yeah, so this is it. I'm showing the, a speaker, an 8 ohm load out here, okay? So this is a circuit. So um, we have our output drivers right here. We got a Darlington pair, complementary pair on this side. We have our bias network right here with the trim pot to set the, uh, the AB biasing or even class A if that's what you want. This is where we set the current for this circuit. And down here is the amplifier where we tap off into the amplified input, the differential input. Okay, so this is where we get our amplification, our differential input here. Up here we have our current source for this circuit. So our two current sources are kind of tied together right here. And again, our input circuit. All right, so go ahead, let's go ahead and run the analysis. I'm gonna come down here to probe transient. I'll show you some other analysis on this later, but what we're going to do is, let's look at the input, okay? 
there's the input voltage. And actually I have this stepped. So it steps through a number of different voltages. And then through the capacitive input filter, here's what it looks like on this side. So you can see it is has a little bit of offset on this side because we have some DC biasing. So you see it right here. And this is the input right here. It's actually set at zero because of the generator. And on this side, we have a DC offset because of uh, the spicy network. Okay. Then we'll come over here to the output and let's just see what, bef okay, let's look right here at the output. And now the input looks really small and the output, it's going up near, what is that? 20, 21.8 volts. Uh, based on the input voltage I put in. Okay. All right. So just want to show you that it works. Now I want you to see if you can build it. Okay. Let's come over here to this window right here and I'll auto size. There it is one more time. There's all the values and I don't actually have the same transistors on the output that John does. So that's one thing that needs to be fixed. Other than that, I think all the parts are correct. So let's go ahead and build it. All right, before we go any further, I want to thank John Audio Tech for all his awesome videos, for spending all the time. I know he's a busy guy, he's got his own business and he's like me, it's a hobby. I mean, neither he or I make any money on this. It costs us money. He couldn't even, he had to shut down his PO box, which is too bad um, because people send him stuff to, to his P.O. box and so that's too too bad that he had to do that um, but it is expensive and it's a fun hobby and that's why we do it everybody loves their hobbies right so it's not like we want people to feel bad for us because it's expensive it's like hey it's what we enjoy doing and I think people like sharing and I think he's one of those kind of people so big thumbs up to John Audio Tech and if you haven't if you're one of those people that are on my channel that don't know him my heck there's a link down below to one of his uh, videos for this amplifier. Okay, let's, let's go on to the other stuff. Okay, guys. So, hey, I so today I just mailed out a Tektronix TX3. These things are hard to find. This is, I got to say, this is one of my favorite meters. So, the Hioki series, uh, the Ampro back here. I mean, I've got some meters I really like. Uh, the Fleur meter. But this TX3, it's the same company that owns Fluke. And I think Fluke took this and made their Fluke 189 out of, uh, at least the technology. It's too bad they didn't copy the display. It's too bad they didn't copy some other things about that meter. Super cool meter. Anyway, I gave one of them away today. Just a friend of the channel. He's been around for a while and he was looking for one. And I thought, ah, what the heck, I'll just send him one. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, it went to... Uh, Denmark. It's expensive to ship from the United States there. Anyway, you know, it's not very often and, and you have people that support the channel. So I, I want to give back. That's kind of why I do the channel in the first place. Um, I had a signal generator up here. I had a guy who gave me a bunch of boards uh, for audio to, you know, power supplies and stuff like that. So I know he was asking me some questions about signal generator and he wanted one. So I thought, what the heck? I got one back here. I'll give it to him. So... Yeah, sometimes so generous, maybe, you know, um, yeah, I, I've given away um, probably as many meters, I don't know, I, I was going to say as, I've probably given away as many meters as been given to me. Some of them, like this one, is definitely more expensive than most, than a good assortment of the meters that have been given to me. Um, so I've given away more money than I've received, except for, I can't say that anymore because now I've got the Pico scope back here. That was an expensive thing somebody gave me. There's something else I got to show you guys that was even more money that somebody gave me. Uh, so lately I've been getting some really nice stuff, so I'm just giving back. Okay. So I thought it'd be fun to do this challenge. I'm going to give away two, maybe even three meters. So send in your schematics microcap not in some other software okay send it to me a microcap let me verify that it works 
And if it does, the first two, maybe even three, I'm going to send a meter, okay? So, yeah, the meter I just sent today cost me like $50 US just to send a meter. <laughs> so, I, I've shipped outside the United States before, and if it's not a problem with customs and all that kind of stuff, I'll, yeah, I'll do it. So, that's the challenge, okay? Hey, I want to thank my patrons for helping me make this kind of stuff possible. Uh, and you become a patron for as low as a dollar a month. You know, I've got a small channel. And um, yeah, I've had, like, Pico. I can't believe they gave me this. This, Yikes. I got a meter yelling at me. I can't believe they gave me this Pico scope. And this other company. Yeah, you know, there's some... I've got... I've received some really cool stuff. Even though I'm a small channel. And I really appreciate it. Appreciate all your support. Because out of my own pocket, I spend a lot of money. Like, probably too much. Like, my wife, she's in bed right now, so she doesn't hear me. She doesn't hear me out here anyway. But, yeah. Uh, she wouldn't be happy if she knew how much money I spent. <laughs> but it's a hobby, right? And it's my way of, you know, having fun and giving back. And I like this. So, let me know what you guys think. And appreciate you watching. It really does help the YouTube analytics to give a thumbs up to the videos, so I really appreciate that. I've noticed that there's, like, you know, the channels my wife watches, the channels I watch, whether they're electronics or, or fitness or whatever it is, I've noticed that there's this percentage um, of people that respond with thumbs up and a percentage of people that respond with the thumbs down. There's just... It's just built in, it seems like. So I want to prove that formula wrong. So I want to see if I can get you guys to give me a thumbs up on the videos and grow this channel a little faster. It's a free way to support the channel. And yeah, anyway, thanks a lot. And you know what? There's something else besides my Patreons. Every once in a while, I'm really surprised somebody will use my PayPal and, and just give me you know, 20 bucks or something like that, which I think is just so amazing. I think it's just so cool that someone would do that. So I just wanted to say that I really appreciate you guys out there. And um, the meters I give away to people and the people that give me things, I never know if I should, you know, use names because I've seen on other channels and that where people have been upset. In fact, a guy gave me an oscilloscope, which I'm going to review on this channel, and and he didn't want to be mentioned. So um, once I review it, I'll, I'm going to give it away. Okay, I think I'm going to wait until I hit 20,000. I think I'm going to make some kind of um, goal. I don't. I, I wish I could say I could do that by the end of the year. And so anyway, I'm going to pick a date, and if it's by the end of the year, for sure. If it's by New Year's, I'm going to, I'll give a bunch of stuff away that, you know, that scope being one of the things. But, yeah, so that guy, so people just give me things and they, and they don't want to be mentioned. Some people, I think, might like to be mentioned. So, when you, so I, I'd appreciate an email letting me know uh, what names I can use. And if you've won a meter, uh... Let me know if, if I can use your name. And, yeah, I'll put it up there so people can see who are winning these things and, and um, you know, who my patrons are. I don't want to send a big list at the end of the channel because, like I said, I don't know what people... I don't know where privacy begins and ends these days. So, yeah, maybe you understand what I'm trying to say. So, appreciate all you guys. Sorry for making the video long, but uh, we'll see you next time.